We're here in Dublin City and behind me is possibly one of the deepest retrofit projects ever undertaken in Ireland. It's a project undertaken by Dublin City Council. It's been retrofitted to the Passive House Enerfit standard, involving a complete upgrade of the thermal envelope and also the installation of a mechanical ventilation system with heat recovery. Now what's special about this project was, as part of the Horizon 2020 Fit to NZ project, we trained the contractors and the Dublin City Council architects team in all the various stages of the retrofit process, right from installation through thermal bridging, air tightness, window installation and mechanical heat recovery ventilation. We're here today for a special celebration. We're going to be joined by the Lord Mayor of Dublin to officially open this Enerfit project, which is a very deep energy retrofit project. And we're going to uh, have a look at some of the features of the project, meet some of the people involved, and I'm really excited about it. The overall result here in St Brickens is absolutely magnificent and I think it's very important that the likes of Dublin City Council takes the lead in doing passive housing and particularly in retrofit because like what they've achieved here in St Brickens is the gold standard in passive housing but to do it in retrofit housing is actually more extraordinary and I think it's really just excellent and it's just an indication of what we should be doing and what councils should be doing and in fairness to Dublin City Council they're leading on this and I think every council should take from that lead. This little project provides really valuable lessons for retrofitting all homes because over the next 30 years we're going to have to retrofit all buildings, all homes in Ireland to very, very high standard. And this is going to be quite a challenge. But at St Brickens we've not only converted two of the blocks to near zero energy, we've taken one block a little further and done this experimental pilot project to bring it to Passive House Enerfit standard. We made it a condition of the tender that uh, the contractors undertake training in Passive House building. And a bespoke course was arranged for the construction team and 20 people participated in the, in the training program and some went on to complete the Passive House Institute exam successfully in 2018. So we undertook training because we didn't want to leave it to chance. A very robust on-site inspection regime was uh, carried out throughout the construction on the part of the contractors and on the part of Dublin City Council. Everybody collaborated very closely and now we're going to do post-occupancy monitoring to make sure that we can uh, replicate this. From my point of view the key benefits of training on site were that people were taught the how but I think more importantly they were taught the why. Of, of why they were doing the retrofit. So why, why it was important to, to wrap insulation tightly together, why it was important to, to do the air tightness and also to check it, and why it was important not just for the, the original installers who normally do a, an almost perfect job, but it was also important for the electricians and the plumbers and the following trades that they also buy into the whole uh, air tightness concept. It took a little bit of the mystery out of the idea of a passive house. A lot of people in the construction industry have heard of Passive House but don't necessarily understand uh, first principles. So the training was there in such a way that everybody was able to get onto the same page. Everybody was understanding the, the same principles. And so each trade would again see how it would be influencing another trade in terms of workmanship and putting uh, the project together. What were the expectations? That was what was important about doing the training together. And also trying to solve the problems together. You know, it became a team effort rather than why aren't you, you know, achieving what you're meant to do. It's like, we know you can do it, maybe we can help. So it was very useful that way, yes. The training was invaluable for me in meeting the quality goals of the project. As the client's representative on site, I am here to ensure that that quality takes place, that what we're playing, paying for and what the public is also paying for is received uh, to the highest level. I had very little understanding of certain aspects of Passive House and I would say that following the training I felt confident, as did everybody else on the course, they felt that they were able to move forward in a confident manner and also the backup that followed that training. Uh, was also invaluable. I think the major ch challenges were uh, air tightness and uh, thermal bridging. So on, the, on thermal bridging, uh, there were some existing concrete uh, eaves that we had to kind of get cut out and uh, you know wrap the insulation around those junctions. And then on the air tightness, uh, there was a challenge basically joining the new to the old. But the contractors bought into it, and that was a big plus. 
there was such an influence between different trades. Uh, one trade would have to make sure that they were uh, very clean before they moved on to the next trade in terms of perforations in the fabric of the building. I'm most pleased about the fact that uh, tenants are going to have comfort in their homes and uh, it's always a, an unexplained benefit. I think that uh, you know, we all want to save energy and we're doing that to a dramatic effect but these residents are now going to enjoy you know, long lives hopefully in these comfortable homes. I'm pleased that everyone is back in, living in their home again. Um, I think that's, that's what the project is about, really. I know Dublin City Council want to retrofit every housing unit that they have in the city over the next, say, 20, 30 years. And here in Brickens, we have the template, we have the gold standard, we have the one that they have to follow. And I think if they follow this one, they, they won't go far wrong. And to congratulate Dublin City Council and also Westside Construction and uh, James Walsh and everybody who's involved in this. Um, to, to, to build a new build passive house is one thing, but to retrofit a building to the passive house standard is quite something else. It really is the equivalent of the Oscars in, <laughs> in the construction sector. That's, I mean, it's, it's, it's really a fantastic achievement. And the key thing about this is it's going to um, save an enormous amount of carbon an enormous amount of energy and people will have very high comfort and good indoor air quality. So we're not just about saving energy but we're also about providing superior comfort. So congratulations and I'm delighted to present this to Dublin City Council.